Hi, I'm Tom with BFID channel and in this video I will compare Revit and Archicad worldwide usage. I will compare Archicad and Revit because in my opinion these are the two most used design software packages for BIM today. It's not easy to get the exact number of users of these software packages because um, their owners they don't release them so we will try to use uh, some roundabout methods to gather information and to see and to guess how many users each software package has. Let's start with brief introduction. Revit is owned and developed by Autodesk company, which is USA based company. And it was founded in 1982 and its most famous piece of software is AutoCAD. Autodesk acquired Revit Technolog Technology Corporation in 2002 and actually Revit was uh, in development since 1997. Archicad is owned by a German company called Niemeczek, which was founded in 1963 as a structural design company and it started with software development in 1984 by releasing its Alplan software package, which is also a BIM design package. Niemeczek company acquired Archicad owner in 2006 and Archicad owner is called Graphisoft. It's a Hungarian company and it started, the first release of Archicad was in 1987 and it's called the first BIM software package. So first we will take a look at revenues of both of the companies because revenue is how much the company makes which can translate of to how much users of individual software it has very roughly. So Autodesk 2020 revenue, don't be confused by this financial year 21 revenue, it's actually uh, 2020 calendar year. The whole company revenue was 3.8 billion dollars. The revenue is divided into several segments and the one that's important for us is, is the AEC segment which comprises of the AEC collection part of which is Revit. The other segments are AutoCAD, uh, Media and Entertainment which is 3DSX and Maya and manufacturing with Fusion 365 and Inventor. We can also see the distribution of revenue by geography, most of which comes from America and Europe and some of it from Asia Pacific region. Now let's take a look at Niemeczek 2020 revenue. The total revenue of the company was 0.6 billion euro which is roughly 0.7 billion US dollars. So Autodesk has roughly 5.5 more total revenue. And Niemeczek is uh, separated into design segment, build segment, manage segment and media and entertainment. And Graphisoft with its Archicad product is part of the design segment. Some of the other well-known are Alplan, as I was already talking about, and in the build segment it's Bluebeam. In media, you might know uh, Cinema 4D from Maxon. So the design segment had 0.3 billion euro revenue in 2020, which is roughly 0.38 billion US dollars. When we take a look at Niemeczek recurring revenue, you can see that in the design segment, Archicad is part of that, only 55% is recurring revenue and actually only 5% is subscription or software as a service. So Niemeczek is actually, the, the rest of the recurring revenue is maintenance. So Niemeczek has uh, not yet been transferred to software as a subs subscription distribution method. So now let's take a look at the individual software revenue. Autodesk AEC revenue uh, was 1.65 billion 
and let's say 75% of that total is revenue revenue. It's hard to know how much revenue should be because most of the revenue is part of the AEC collection and only Autodesk really knows how much of that goes to Revit and how much of that goes to other software. So this is just my estimate. When we multiply 0.75 by 1.65 billion, it's 1.23 billion as a Revit revenue in the year 2020. Now, Nemechek uh, design segment revenue was 0 0.38 billion US dollars. And let's say Archicad was 50% of the total revenue. Again, this is just my guess. And I think it's lower than the Revit part because part of the design segment revenue are, is more software and also Alplan software. So this is again just my estimate. And if we use this estimate, Archicad revenue in the year 2020 would be uh, 0 0.5 times uh, 0 0.38 billion, which makes it 0 0.2 billion. So Revit has roughly six times more revenue than Archicad in, in year 2020. But you have to also see that uh, Revit is a bit more expensive package than Archicad. So my estimate from the revenue comparison is that Revit has five times more users worldwide than Archicad. The second source of information that I will use in this uh, comparison between Revit and Archicad will be Google Trends. Google Trends shows you how many, uh, how many people all around the world are searching for certain terms. So I will compare Autodesk Revit and Archicad and they are actually categorized as a software. So uh, it should be better than just a, just a plain simple word. And when we take a look at the worldwide uh, Google Trends in the f past five years, the trend is quite similar. It's not changing much. And you can see that during the past five years, Autodesk Gravit has had Google search 82, 82 and Archicad had 21. This can differ quite a lot in between regions. So when we take a look at past five years in United States between Revit and Archicad, you can see that the Revit is much, much more 73 compared to just three. Archicad is almost non-existent in United States of America. So it's quite interesting when we go back to the worldwide comparison that in North America, Revit is dominant. Also in South America, 90% or 75%. Brazil, 90%. Argentina, 82%. Also in South Africa, 85% Revit. In Australia, 81% Revit. In United Kingdom, Revit 92%. In Saudi Arabia, 94% Revit. India, 96% Revit. So in all of these countries, Archicad is almost non-existent. But when we take a look at uh, Germany, Archicad seems to be more used than Revit. Also, Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary, which is... Uh, the country where, where Archicad is developed, 74% usage or at least Google search of uh, Archicad compared to Revit. Then also in Russia, it's roughly half, half Kazakhstan. Then in uh, France, Revit is more pre prevalent also, also in Spain. So another interesting thing is that in Japan, Archicad is actually quite used compared to Revit. So you can see here countries with the most dominant Revit search. 7th United States, India, Ireland, Hong Kong, Iran, Saudi Arabia, United Kingdom, Brazil, Spain in the first 20 countries. And when we switch that to most interest for Archicad, you can actually see it's Hungary, Switzerland, Austria, Romania, Germany, Czech Republic, my home country, 
Bulgaria, Finland. It's mainly uh, countries of Central Europe and then also you can see Japan. Apart from the worldwide usage, you can see 82 Revit, 21 Archicad, which means roughly four times more uh, user search for Revit compared to Archicad. So now I will show you why did I compare Revit only to Archicad. When we take a look at the Google Trends search with other software like Alplan, Vectorworks or BricsCAD, you can see that Revit, the blue line, and Archicad, the red line, is dwarfing the, the other software. All of them are just so, so small that they are almost non-visible in BricsCAD. When we take a look at SketchUp, you can actually see that Google search for SketchUp in the violet line is uh, more search than Revit but I don't consider SketchUp a full BIM software package it can be used as such but I think most of the SketchUp usage is is uh, for other other uses such as conceptual design and not not actually a, a BIM software but some of it might be you might be considered a BIM software but SketchUp has much more much more other usage so that's why I'm not comparing that's why I'm not including SketchUp in this comparison. So my conclusion is when combining the revenue information that we found out and the Google Trends information, Revit has four to five times the number of users of Archicad. This is just my rough guesstimate I could not find more relevant information so let me know in the comments below if you think that this comparison is valid I hope this was interesting to you and take care